Hello guys, I'm Rachel from GK Sneaker. Today I would like to do a review on Fragment Travis Scott Jordan 1 Low. So in front of your two pairs of fragments, the left pair is the real one, the right pair is the fake one. So what can you see the difference? First, let's check about the plastic cover. For the left real pair, we can see the color is, uh, is transparent and it can see through, right? very clear plastic but for the right fake pair let's check it we can see it's very cloudy the color is cloudy white so they are different let's put side by side to compare so for the left is the real one right is the fake one we can see they got kind of different color next let's check about the box for a real pair we can see the white color it looks more clean and white but this one a bit yellowish so this is another difference for the box next let's check about the box label so for the real pair and the fake pair they got big difference about the box label so this is the real one we can see description here they got style number here, DM786614 and it's low top, low OGSP here. So this is for the real pair description. But for the fake pair, we can see the description is totally long. It, it says fragment design Travis got here. So they are totally different. Let's put side by side to have more clear. So we can see the description is totally different on the box label and the box color also different. Uh, the real pair, it should, the white color should be more white and but the fake pair, it's a bit yellowish. So next, let's check about the shoes. Uh, still, the left pair is the real one, the right pair is the fake one. Sorry, I put the position. I need to swap position. So here, the left pair is the real pair, the right pair. The left pair is the real pair, the right pair is the fake pair. Uh, first, we can check about the shoelaces. So maybe you, you are not able to see difference from the camera. For the real one, it's a bit waxed. Uh, for the fake pair, also waxed. But the difference, maybe you need to put side by side and then you can notice it's about the, uh, it's because the real pair, it's more narrow, smaller, but fake pair, it's bigger. The laces is bigger. Let's put side by side to compare. So this one is the real one, laces, and this one is the fake one. Let's compare it. So from the camera, we can see the real one, the fake one is wider, right? Here, the fake one is wider. But the real one is, is narrower. So this is one difference for the laces. Second, let's check the toe box. So you can see the toe box shape is different. Third, uh, let's check about the swoosh. So for the real pair, we can feel the swoosh is more pointy. We can see very nice shape, a uh, swoosh pattern here. And this one, uh, two lines come close to, come close together. This is very nice swoosh. But for the fake pair, we can see the pattern is a bit weird. And it's a bit round here. And these two lines, they are almost parallel. Mm, so now have a comparison, side by side comparison. So we can see the upper one is the real, the below one is the fake one. Can you see difference? And also the, the leather color also got difference. 
but both their tumble le leather for some bad replicas. Their swoosh leather is plain leather that is totally long. Third, let's check the back side logo placement. So this is a very important little checkpoint for these shoes. So we can see from a real pair. So we can see the logo is not centered between the heel tab and the missile. It's a bit more close to the heel tab, right? It's a bit higher. But for the fake pair, we can see it's centered. It's centered between the missile and heel tab. That is wrong. Okay, let's take a side-by-side -side comparison. So we can see here, the left is real pair. It's more close to the heel tab. And you can see a small peak here. For thick pair, it also has a small peak. Uh, so both correct. Just a thick pair, it's logo placement, it's long. So we can see the placement. This one is the real one. This one is the fake one. Same to the left shoes. Now let's check about the character's jack faces. So we can see the placement difference. For the real one, it's a bit higher and more close to the heel tab, but the, this one is more like centered on the heel part. That is not. Uh, this applies to the all track disco fragment low top shoes. And fourth, let's check out the woven label. So we can see this is the authentic the woven label is like this. Real one is like this. But for the fake one we can fail. The woven label is very cheap. Now let's put side by side for better comparison here. So we can see the left one is much better. But this is very hard to compare if you don't have two pair of shoes uh, side by side to compare. Even if you only have get one shoe, it's hard to tell if it's the woven label is correct or not. Next, let's check out the shoe tree. So for the shoe tree, you can check very easily. Uh, the left one is the real one, this one. So this one detail I need to mention, it's about the, you can see, uh, what does it say on the back side of shoe tree? It says die cut sock liner. So this is the real one's shoe tree. But for the fake one, it says nothing here. So when you get a pair of fragment Travis Scott low top shoes, if you found uh, if if you find their shoe tree no such words on backside, then it must be fake, no doubt. Okay, uh, fifth, let's check about the insole. So the still uh, the left one is the real, the right one is the fake. So what can you see the difference? First, uh, for a real one, it has the size label. But for fake one, no size label. And I need to mention the real pair is the size 11 I get, and the fake pair is size 10, 10.5. So uh, another difference we can see, for a real one, it got cut here. For these cuts, we have three types cut. Uh, one type is a one, uh, small cut, it stands for one size. Medium cut is, stands for five size. And the biggest cut means 10 size, 10 size. Okay, so here we can see a very big, big cut, it means 10. And this small one, it means one. So 10 plus one is 11. So this insole, it means, this insole means it's for size 11 Jordan shoes. But for the fake pair, we can see no cut at all. So this one, definitely fake. Next, let's check about the back side. So we can see this groove. Mm, real one has more groove than the fake one. And another thing is you need to check the color of the groove. The for real one, it's white and white transparent groove. But this one a bit yellowish, so also not correct. At last, let's check about the 
stitching under insole. Uh, this is very professional legit check point for uh, checking if it's correct, uh, real or fake. So now here. Um, so this one is the real one we can see. Can you see the stitching? These stitchings is very neat and very close, dense stitching. But for the fake pair, you can see it's horrible. So can you see the stitching here? It's not neat and it's kind of in a mess. So this is definitely long. And last, uh, last but not least, uh, a very, also very important legit checkpoint. It's about black light. So let's check it. For the, about black light, the point we need to check is about the guideline. Those guidelines for stitching uh, to have a more even and neat stitching. For the real one, they have special machines, so they don't need to those guidelines. But for the fake pair, they need those guidelines for stitching, or they cannot stitch shoes well. So uh, let's use black light to see if the shoes have guidelines. Left is the real pair, we can see. Oh, let me turn my light off. So the left pair is the real one, the right pair is the fake one. Let's check what will happen if we hit black light. So we can see for the, this one, it's very clean, right? Real one is very clean. But for the fake one, we can see, can you see those lines? So these are all fake lines. You can see here, right? So these guidelines are very important evidence to prove these shoes are fake. Oh, I put the, I put shoes in long place. So this this one is the real. This one is the fake. So let's check the, the fake pair. So you can see the guidelines here, right? And it's shoelace is kind of floppy, but this real pair can see very clean. No guideline at all, nothing here. So it's very clean shoes for a real pair. Okay, above, above are all the G check points for how to identify it is real or fake. Thank you. If you like my video, please subscribe and give me a thumb up. Thank you.